Hey guys, we're going to be doing the Should You Use It for the 300 Blackout. Now I did this for the M4 with the 458 SOCOM conversion. And this has some additional benefits over top of just how the weapon handles itself and how powerful it is. Its added benefits are going to really help out for people in hardcore. It occasionally helps out in core, but I feel like this is more oriented towards people who are using this gun in hardcore. Because if you use this in conjunction with a suppressor or the internally suppressed barrel that you can get for it, it's going to give you more of an advantage. And the reason why I'm saying this is because when you kill people with this, when that character, player, whatever dies, there's no skull that shows up for the enemy team. And there are also no tracers that uh, can be seen. So to say out of sight and not have your tracers lead the enemy exactly where you're at, that's going to help out. Now in core, you only really, I mean, you're going to get those benefits, but over top of 556, this is going to give you a little bit more power. Obviously, it's going to have a little bit more recoil. But it's not as intense as the 458 because it's not as big as a round. You still get 30 rounds. Um, and I believe, honestly, I'm only going to give this like a 7 out of 10. But that's because I'm not a hardcore player. I play core mostly. And on Shoot House 24-7, I'm getting um, pretty good games with it. Uh, if I was using the 458 SOCOM, obviously you got to play a little bit different with that. You just got to cater the build depending on the game, the map, or whatever, your style. I run the Tempest Mini, the Ranger Foregrip, the 30 round mags for the 300 Blackout, the uh, Holographic Sight, and the Stippled Grip Tape. Now, you, if you use this, first you have to be a level 39 to unlock the M13. And you gotta play around with it for a while before you unlock the 30 round mags for the 300 Blackout, but it's not too far down the line. It's around level 40. Um, most of the other attachments, like the Tempest Mini Barrel, that's the first barrel you get. Uh, and the Stipple Grip Tape isn't too far in, and I'm just running Holographic Sight because I like that sight. Now, if you want to max this thing out and absolutely try to get this thing as super quick ADS time, then I have it. Me, personally, I went for a moderate control of the recoil over top of just making this thing a laser beam and I wanted to have quick ADS time because I'm playing shoot house I'm not really worried about long distance and that's one thing you need to worry about with this gun because 300 blackout is a subsonic round you have a little bit more recoil like I said it's not unmanageable but you're gonna have to lead targets a little bit more and I'm running as many barrels so it's gonna be bouncing around a little bit more as if I was using the long barrel for it so I'm not worried about it so much. Somebody else might be. So if you're more trying to use this for longer range, just keep in mind that you're going to have to lead more and you're going to have a little bit more recoil. You're going to have more of a rough time than somebody just straight up using the 5.56, like the standard version of the M13 with either the 30 or the 50 round mags. One of the reasons being is because you're not going to find a whole lot of ammo off of players because not many people use this conversion kit in core now you will find people who do but i would run something where whether it be munitions box or scavenger now that's up to you i mean if you die you get all your ammo back obviously but if you're trying not to die you're going to need to find a way to replenish ammo so i just run munitions box i'm not too concerned about having scavenger on as well I would if I was using the 458 SOCOM because you don't get nowhere as many rounds as you do for the 300 blackout but to each their own you could do whatever you want that's why I'm saying if you're a hardcore player you're probably gonna get more benefit out of this than somebody who's playing this in core but if you want to take the stock off of this thing, make it as short and cut down as possible, then you could probably do that and you'll be all right. But anyways, guys, um, if you want to see another one, like I said, I'd probably do these every so often. Or if people want to see more of this, I'll do it. Uh, I'll probably do... I still got the AK with the conversion.
kit for that and the 9mm for the M4. Uh, I will look into those, start trying those out and see what I think about them. If you guys have any builds for 300 Blackout or your hardcore player, tell us how you like it. But anyways guys, I will see you later.